hello everyone so I've just got a little wee plant haul video to show you today and oh my god the weather over here lately has been absolutely phenomenal like we are um, just you know three odd weeks away from the beginning of winter but the weather has just been absolutely fantastic like it's been in the mid 20s the last few days look at that sky up there it's warm it's a little bit breezy but it's always windy here and it's just, it's almost like we're having like summer again it's just been absolutely gorgeous so um hubby and i have been really busy in the garden doing a big autumn clean up and preparing our winter vegetable garden planting some things it's quite full um I've got lots of brassicas in which grow really well uh, at this time of the year. In fact, this is the time of the year that you really should grow brassicas. And brassicas are things like cauliflower, broccoli, broccoli flower, kale, things like that because in summer they get attacked by white butterfly. And they lay their eggs on the leaves and the, leg, the eggs and the legs, the eggs in turn into caterpillars and then they just... Um, annihilate your plants and they're not around at this time of the year so this is the best time of the year to grow them but I'm going to show you um, just some stuff that I've got and um, I'll do a garden video I'm actually um, on two weeks holiday as of Monday today's Friday I've actually just finished work it's nearly lunchtime and I'm on two weeks holiday so I've got quite a few videos planned and I've got another haul video um, I'm just waiting on something else to come in um, and yeah just a few other other things and I'll do a garden tour um, as well so one thing that we've only recently um, started growing we've only grown one crop of it is broad beans and I know a lot of people cringe and like oh my god broad beans it's so revolting and I was in that camp although I hadn't actually um, eaten them for years and years and years but they are so friggin good um, they're really good for your garden because once they're finished you just cut the stalks off and you leave all the roots in the ground and they fix nitrogen to your soil. They attract nitrogen to your soil and they fix it so um, they're a really good soil conditioner. Um, their flowers are gorgeous. Their flowers are white and um, really richly scented. They're like a rich vanilla scent. It's absolutely gorgeous. But um, you pick them young and they're so tender and they are just so delicious and I've got a few bags of them in the freezer ready for winter stews and things like that. Um, so yeah, so that's the first thing. I had to get some more because I don't have enough in my other pack. So I'm going to sow them this weekend. So that's, that's broad beans and there's loads of recipes online and you can make um, dips out of them and spreads. They're really nice with asparagus. Um, they're a really fresh spring uh, food and I was surprised at how damn good they tasted so don't don't outlaw broad beans um, because they are actually really tasty like I can remember my mother cooking them when I was a kid and they were like these grey revolting things that were dished up on the plate but yeah it's all about picking them young and they're just absolutely gorgeous anyway so they're the only seeds I've got and I have got some curly kale I love kale now um I'm going to actually talk about this in a video um, at some stage, but I've uh, gone vegetarian. I've gone meat and dairy free, and I'm going to do a whole whole video about that. But um, I ate a lot of greens, and even before going veggie, I ate a lot of greens. And I love kale. I've been really getting into kale chips. Holy crap, they taste so good. So I've got six kale here, and there's various types of kale. I grow another one, a Tuscan kale in the garden, which has very dark green leaves, but I really like like this one. And now, of course, good time of the year to grow because there's not all the nasty pests in that around. So they'll be lovely. So that's kale. And I have got some baby leaf spinach. And, oh, spinach, add it to smoothies. Um, just have it as lightly steamed green. Um, you can add it to pesto. And there's masses of things that you can do with, with spinach. And excuse me I really like this um, the baby leaf one 
salads they make you know nice winter salads and things and you need to eat greens and actually one thing that I should have mentioned about the kale kale actually has more iron in it than beef so there you go so that's um, I'm probably going to grow some of these in pots as well there's a lot of plants in there and um, I eat a lot of greens I'm kind of big on eating greens so then for flowers I grow these every single year these are poppies uh, poppies petunias are my two favorite annuals uh, of all time and I grow lots of different types of poppies I grow these ones um, these are actually ladybird poppies and they get black splotches in the center um, and they're bright red and they're beautiful and they give a really nice pop of color in the garden and the bees love them and yeah I've been growing them every year for quite some time and then lastly I just got two of these now these are stock and if you've never smelt stock you have no idea what you're missing and often it's hard to get the pure white sort of big big ones but um wherever I am well I was she's my little shadow aren't you um the smell of these is like strong clove floral smell they are just absolutely divine I'm going to put these under the bedroom windows. Oh, oh I have to have another sniff. Hang on, look at that garden. Oh my god. And my husband's got like a weird sense of smell. Like, I smell things that he doesn't smell and vice versa. And he was like, oh, I can't really smell them, which to me is just, it must be him because when I brought them, the woman at the checkout was like, oh my god, they smell so good. So if you have a little bit of space in your garden and you want to grow something, um, really highly scented and really pretty and quite cottage like then you can't go wrong with stock they're just gorgeous yeah so I hope everyone um, is well and had a great Beltane I did absolutely nothing really for Sawin. Um just wasn't in the mood this year you know so and I've been really busy doing other things and it kind of just all came up really quickly and um, yeah so that's cool that's all right um, I think that was pretty much all I was going to, yeah. Oh, and I know that Connie won't be watching this because she's got so much, you know, going on. But I just wanted to really express my heartfelt condolences on the passing of her mum. You know, I've lost a few family members in the past, all to cancer, unfortunately. Um, well, most of them to cancer. And it's, yeah, um, what can you say? Um... Just, I'm thinking of you, and you're in my thoughts, and um, just take care. Um, so, okay, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.